Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Safiya Khan. You're watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look at the English news. The United States has started joint military exercise Eagle Resolve 23 with Saudi Arabia and countries involved in the Gulf Cooperation Organization. The exercise will focus on counter-terrorism landmines at sea and air defense cooperation. The Central Command, the headquarters of the U.S. military in the Middle East, said in a statement, General Mikhail Korila, head of the CENTCOM, said that the drills were being conducted to strengthen military ties across the region. Exercises such as the Eagle Resolve will demonstrate U.S. military cooperation and provide opportunities to expand joint operations in all GCC countries, he said. According to the U.S. military, Eagle Resolve exercises are held twice a year. Turkish President Erdogan has said that the people of Turkey make their own decisions for their country, not the West. Turkish President Erdogan, who was re-elected President of Turkey in the recent presidential elections, said in a statement that the doors of development were opened on Turkey without any compromise. After getting the responsibility of presidency again, we will all make a Turkish century. It's time to unite and work. President Erdogan further said that the 570 years have passed since the Ottoman Empire conquered Istanbul, which was a turning point in our history. The recent presidential elections is a similar turning point for Turkey. China's spacecraft Shenzhen has left. The highlight of this mission is a civilian scientist aboard it. The university professor is the first Chinese citizen to go into space. According to the foreign news agency, China's spacecraft Shenzhou 16 has left for the Tiangong Space Station. There were three Chinese astronauts on board the spacecraft Shenzhen. China also wants to send a manned mission to the moon by the end of this decade. The horrific mass murder in India has raised questions about the safety of women in India. A 20-year-old boy stabbed his 16-year-old girlfriend to death in public in New Delhi. According to Indian media, this horrific incident of public Mother has raised questions about the safety of women in India. The head of the New Delhi Commission for Women has declared Delhi unsafe for women and girls. Sawati Maliwal, head of the Women's Commission, said that the gruesome murder was recorded on CCTV cameras. He said that none of the people passing by the street tried to stop the boy. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has said that those who attack the symbols of the state do not deserve talks. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif said in a statement on Twitter that miscreants and arsonists disguised as politicians attacked state symbols such people do not deserve talks. Such miscreants should be punished for what they have done. This is what happens in democratic countries. The Prime Minister said that dialogue is a part of the political process with the help of which democracy matures and flourishes. Many political and constitutional successes are achieved through negotiations, but there can be no talks with miscreants disguised as politicians. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching DCTV USA.